What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. My name is Damon Warren, and this is Day One Adventures. In today's adventure, we are up in Cape Cod. We are in P-Town today. Going to check it out, do a little whale watching, check out the town here. This is my second, third time. Third time here. So I'm going to check it out. It's a nice, relaxing Sunday afternoon. So time for an adventure. Yeah, this is P-Town. That is the Pilgrim Monument right there. There's actually an incline that you can take that goes up to the top. But the main thing this town is known for, they got the, the whale watching ships. And this is the marina. See all the boats there and lobster pot. I believe there's like two lobster pots around here. So this is John's Footlongs. Ate here before, the hot dogs are really good. I did not try the, the fried dough. In fact, I may be getting another foot long today. Speaking of hot dogs, look at that guy right there. <laughs> you got Luke's right there. You got your local artisans right here. This is dolphin fleet. We're catching dolphin fleet again. It's definitely got a uh, pear smell around here, let's say. Fast ferries to Boston, eh? Respoke. Oh, that's interesting. That sounds good. Yeah, I like to run around on the beach. 
Loot, plunder, pillage, play. Oh, okay. Smells like good times. Okay, sure. All right, we're going to go down and get a soda. I'll be right back. All right, that sounds good. Is that a local soda? Building right here. Look at that right there. Oh, I ain't got no stickers on me. Oh, guess we're going with the stickers next. Are we gonna be on P Town News now? No. Pornhub. Pornhub. Okay, fine. Again? But only the the extra, right? The one that they have to pay for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's behind the paywall. the dispensary. Oh, you're good. You're good. Thank you.
This does go on for a while. I think my next time I'm just gonna go around with stickers.
Ja, ja, ja. Oh, it smells good down here. P-Town Burgers. Native Cape Cod Seafood. Hello. <laughs> mm. We got a little aqua bar right here. Eat it raw. Best Jamaican food? Oh, we got some. Oh, yeah. Fortune cookie. Got some Chinese. Got Mexican. This is like a little international spot right here. Connie's Bakery. That's kind of cool. Grab and go sandwiches. It looks good. <laughs> Tip Pan Alley. Oh, 
man, you know what really gets me? We got one that can see. He's ever bell is good. <laughs> people. Oh, they got poutine. All right. Mm. The pimp daddy. Just taking a look. I hate dumplings, just Why? kidding. Kung Fu dumplings, all right. Hey, look, you find, you find, I find a, I find an interesting places off the beaten path. So the places are in the cut. I definitely need to have some sticker shorts. Provincetown Harbour to Stellwagen Bank. Today's cruising altitude will be approximately zero feet. <laughs> and in just a minute, we're going to be having one of our world famous Coast Guard mandated life vest demonstrations where we're going to be showing you lovely folks how to don one of our life jackets in the event of an emergency. Uh, right now, I can see Jess, our first mate, is here to do our life vest demonstration. Jess is acting as a mate today, but she is not just a mate. Jess is, in fact, our first ever fully qualified female captain. So we are going and so, of course, right now we are using all her skills, all her years of training, all her expertise to show you how to put on a life jacket. What we do is you're going to pop your head through the hole. So, uh, probably a good opportunity to introduce the rest of the crew. We've met Jess, she's our first mate. She'll also be doing a bit of piloting when we're out there as well. 
uh, downstairs in the galley. That's the nautical term for a snack bar. We have two wonderful workers called Kay and Radi. Uh, Radi is particularly sad today because it is her last ever day with us. Uh, we are hoping to get her back next year. Uh, she is one of our J1 visas out here. She's been working with us all summer. And during that summer, that six months we're together, we all become like a family here. We work so hard, we work so often together that she's really sad to be leaving her second family. But we are hoping to get her back next year. Uh, a couple more people to introduce up here behind me. A most important job of the day, we have Captain Mark DeLomba. Captain Mark is a fantastic captain. He has been with Dolphin Fleet for coming up to 40 years now. Dolphin Fleet has been operating for 49 years. So Captain Lumby has been with us right since the start. Uh, before that, he was a fisherman out on these waters and his name may well give him away, Captain Mark de Lomba. He is of Portuguese heritage. Some of you folks may know that Provincetown was founded by Portuguese fishermen, or to be more accurate, Portuguese whalers. And so Lumbia is a direct descendant of those Portuguese whalers. In fact, his maternal grandfather was a Portuguese whaler working out of the Azores, harpooning whales. So he has a, a deep knowledge of these animals, literally in his DNA. So we are in very, very good hands today with Captain Mark. The other reason I love going out with Captain Mark is he is very respectful of the animals we do come across. It is really important to bear in mind we're going out to look for wild animals in their natural environment. Nothing is guaranteed. I can't just blow on a whistle and have them pop up on the side of the boat. We're not going to sea world. Uh, so it is really important. We've learned during our 49 years of doing this, you can't zoom around from whale to whale. Uh, you can't bear down on them too fast. You must never approach them directly from in front or directly from behind. It basically stirs up a memory of having been hunted by human beings. Remember, it was only about 50 years ago that we had the international moratorium on whaling that we decided as a nation, as a, uh, a globe, yeah. to stop hunting whales. So these whales will get skittish if we scare them. We are not going to scare them. We are not going to impinge on their lives in any way. And as I said, Captain Mark is absolutely fantastic for doing that. Uh, one more person to introduce, that is myself. My name is Sophie. I'm going to be your naturalist today. I'm kind of like a field guide. I'll be pointing things out to you as we head offshore. My basic line of thinking is if I find it interesting and exciting, you folks will probably find it interesting and exciting as well, so I'll be pointing that out to you. Um, so if you look out at around our 11.45, way out in front of us, uh, left of the bow, we've got some more of those bubbles appearing and our whale out at our one o'clock. So left side, 11 o'clock, right side, one o'clock, wherever you look, you are gonna see a whale diving down. Beautiful looks. All of the humpback whales that we're seeing today are here for the same reason. They are, of course, on their summer feeding grounds. In just the next few weeks, most of these animals will have left this area they have a long migration south towards their winter breeding grounds. This particular population of humpback whales heads to an area off the coast of the Dominican Republic called the Silverbacks. Ooh, left side, 11 o'clock. Uh, one of our buddies is reappearing here. This one just popped up to the surface with its mouth wide open, full of bait fish, using its baleen to strain the salt water out of its mouth. For any birders on board, we've got a sheer water heading over at our 11 o'clock. Looks like this is a quarry sheer water. And our whale out at our 10 o'clock here, left side. Got bubbles appearing in the water at our 5 o'clock now, as well as a ball of fish just ahead of them. And our whale out at our 4 o'clock here. There! a great big hairy mustache and that whale is going to come up again it did another kick here so keep your eyes peeled around our two o'clock that was that was the money shot folks that was beautiful <laughs> So eyes peeled around our, between our one and our two o'clock. 
And if you look at this cloud of dissipating bubbles, the whale is... Yeah! Oh, look at oh, that! Wow. That mouth oh, slapping oh, shot! Yeah. Holy cow! We're still here, just under the water, coming right towards us. Ooh, that whale has made an interesting change of direction, heading right in towards the bow here. I'm assuming it's a friendly whale. No, you're on a very good whale watch when every member of the crew is taking their own video as well. This does not happen every day. <laughs> you guys got the best by now. down the blowhole from this angle. You'll notice these birds have cottoned on to what the whale is doing. Uh, these birds have also developed Christmas, that was very cool. From this angle, you could see the whale's rockwool pleats. They're a series of pleats on the chin of the whale that allow its throat to expand to about five times its normal size. There's that next kick from this whale. So these birds have managed to evolve uh, a better blue-green visual spectrum than we have. I know, I know we think humans have incredible eyesight, but these whales work, uh, these birds' eyesight works very differently. They are able to see right down through the depths of the ocean. In fact, they're able to track the whale through the blue-green colouring of the bubbles that it produces much, much better than we are. So you'll notice these birds often uh, cotton on to what the whale is doing well before us. All the animals we see out here have developed so many evolutionary adaptations to allow them to live their lives pelagically, that means in the open ocean. Left side, 11 o'clock. Here's our buddy again, with a nice kick. We're going to try and pop this whale over to the right side this time, one o'clock. We change it from side to side so that folks who aren't able to walk from one side to the other can just stay at one railing and then are able to appreciate uh, the whale. Wow! Absolutely fabulous. Oh my god, there are the fish jumping out of the water. Did you see that? Those little lucky fish jumped right out of the whale's mouth. They're like, oh my goodness, get away, get away. <laughs> that was really cool. Very, very cool. Goodness me, we are getting quite the treat here, folks. If you can't tell by how excited I am, this does not happen every day. We do not normally get this kind of action. I am absolutely beside myself. I am thrilled with the action we've got here this afternoon. I'm telling you, if you come back on another 50 whale watch trips, we are not going to be able to show you this action again. Uh, we had that single minky whale we saw. We also had three.
three to six different humpback whales out there. The stars of the show were Cupid, an eight-year-old male whale, and Fern. Fern is a 42-year-old female whale. We have seen her every year since we've been coming out here for 42 seasons. Uh, she was the one doing that really cool kick feeding, coming up with her mouth wide, wide open. So, uh, as I say, the, the real star of the show there. So we are going to be back at our home dock in the next couple of minutes. I'm going to ask you folks to remain where you are. Be a little patient with us. We've got to tie up the boat here. We're going to be working on tying these lines up. If you want to take a photo of this, I will be, as you disembark, I'll be holding a sign up so you can uh, take a photo then. I do just want to say, if you think we did a good job today, if you have enjoyed Captain Mark Columbus incredible captaining around those whales, and you would like to show your appreciation you can do it in the grand maritime tradition you can tip your crew we like to say that wind and rain can rock the boat but only you can tip the crew 